Louis Anderson, welcome to DBL. I wanted to talk to you quickly about your Christine Baskets portrayal. It is so inspiring to see, and it is inspired by your late mother. When you won the Emmy, you lifted the statue and said, we did it, mom, and everyone was in tears. So how has it been channeling her, and how has your relationship with her changed even after she died? You know, sometimes you get touched, something brings up something, and you go, oh, I need to ask my mom this, but yep. she wasn't there, so yeah. she's gone to the great beyond. And so I started writing these letters and it was very, very cathartic for me, really helped. And I've really been encouraging people, if your mom's still around, become friends with her. Wow. See if you can find out what she was going to do if she wouldn't have had you. And then that question we all have is, why'd you pick dad, mom? Why him? <laughs> That's true. You know, moms give up so much for us and we take it for granted because they're there and they don't really ask for a lot. Amen, amen. So how do you bring your mom to Mrs. Baskets? How do you do that? What do you use? Is there a, a perfume? Is there a movement? Is there a sound? What are we on my dad's side? Scotch Irish, honey. It's heavy on the scotch. That's a drinking joke. Don't put that in there. You know, I think I just leave Louis Anderson out of the equation. Wow. People say you're a man playing a woman. I go, you know, I'm a woman when I'm playing a the part. Amen. I don't feel any, any bit of a man. Amen. And so I think that's what surprised people a lot. You know, I channel my mom somehow. She gets in there and she kicks Louis Anderson right out of there. Wow. And well, you takes do. over. I relinquish control. It's so much fun to just let it go, you know? Well, speaking of letting it go, I heard you do a lot of takes, and we all know that Zach and, and you are very spontaneous. Um, so how much of the show is written? Is it improv? It's all written. Okay. It's great writing. But we're allowed to improvise off the intent of something. We always go for the best line no matter who wrote it. Right, right. The kids are not laughing at clowns anymore. They're scared of them. Go away! It's like the world's gone insane. Now, Zach plays a rodeo clown, and roughly one in six people suffer from cholrophobia, the fear of clowns. So we want to know what <laughs> scares Louis Anderson. Is there something that scares you? Like when I drive by Anytime Fitness. I'm terrified of that. Um, I guess what scares me sometimes is our uh, lack of empathy and uh, humanity in the world right now. Wow. It scares me. It makes me feel like... Geez, you guys, come on, we're all in the same boat. We're all connected, yeah. we're all human beings. And I just want to say thank you for honoring the femininity that is in Christine and not making a joke about it. It really is quite touching for us to see and to see that side of you. So I wanted to say thank you because it's very well done. Thank you so much, Tori.